Hello there, guys and gals out there in Michael Jackson land. I hope everybody is doing fine, and I hope everybody's doing well. I'm sending some blessings out to a couple of fans. I don't want I don't want to mention their names, but they have relatives that are suffering from COVID, and I'm thinking about you guys and praying for you guys. Okay. Um. All right. All right. So. Uh, the news for the week. Okay, there's not a whole lot. I'm doing some research on some stuff that I find kind of exciting, but I did. I, I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold off on that until another live. Okay, but what I am gonna talk about is some unfortunate news. Um, Bruce Swede Swedian 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 Bruce Swedian. Um, he died. Okay, he died. He was a part of Michael's uh, Off the Wall Thriller and Bad album. And he worked a lot with Quincy Jones and Michael. And um, he was, you know, he assisted, produced, he did the engineering and everything. So he was 86. So rest in peace and thank you for your expertise and your greatness for making Michael the number one recording artist. Uh, solo artists that ever lived and I think that that is a true statement um, anyway so they're in counting <laughs> and counting Michael's album sales are not done so rest in peace to Bruce Sweden and um, let's see what else I have I have a couple of more things oh I want to talk about this okay I want to talk about this now uh, a Michael Jackson fan club, I don't want to put them on, on blast, but they rejected my post. You know why? Because they said that they only want pro-Michael stuff, right? This group is pro-Michael, so if you have the idea to post negative about them, about him, leave this group, leave this group first. Okay, so that's just my promotion about Michael. <laughs> And that's just about Michael faking his death, right? I want to talk about that for a second. Okay. So, um, my mother has died, right? If I didn't see my mother's dead body, and I was told that she was dead, and I knew my mother played a lot of tricks, and she had decoys and body doubles, and and stand-ins and decoys and impersonators and like to play a lot of tricks and somebody said you know I think your mom faked her death would I be mad or would I go wait a minute let me let me hear more because I'm not sure you know because I didn't see the body and the casket wasn't open and there's still no name on the grave um, and all the death documents are in the wrong name, and so on and so forth, then I would definitely look into it. I would. I would definitely look into it. Unfortunately, I was in the room when my mother died. So therefore, I watched her die. And I know that she was in the hospital for a few days before that, and she was on life support. So I know that that can't, somebody say, your mom faked your death. I would know that that's impossible because I was there and I witnessed the whole situation, right? But in the case of Michael Jackson and fans, who never saw the dead body, <laughs> probably never saw Michael in their life, maybe maybe on a stage, maybe, or on television, I'm going to call me saying Michael faked his death as negative Michael. So Michael being dead is good news? And Michael being alive is bad news? <laughs> it just baffles me. Okay? It baffles me. So I'm wondering, have fans, do fans, some fans really prefer Michael Jackson dead? Like, I'm already okay with him being dead. And anybody that says anything different about Michael being dead, um, I, I hate you. I don't want to help you. you. You deserve to be called out you know I wouldn't have four documentaries 350 minutes worth of information if Michael didn't fake his death 
If Michael was dead, I, I would have ran into dead end, er, dead end research, dead end research, dead end research. But all I've gotten for 11 plus years is a whole maze full of information, full of proof, facts, evidence, clues, and alive too. I mean, alleged victim, alleged date in the court of law with the Conrad Murray trial. I mean, come on. And then the Catherine versus AEG live trial, they refer, refused to even um, stipulate that Michael was dead until they made sure that the name was Michael Joseph Jackson instead of his real name of Michael Joe Jackson. There's games being played. Okay, so fans, if you're a naysayer that Michael faked his death and you and you prefer him dead, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you were a fan. And I when I saw, sought to um, get involved in reporting on the death hoax, I thought I was bringing good news to fans to make fans happy that Michael escaped the BS that he had to go through. And the first, I do have proof, something, evidence, that Michael planned to fake his death right after the 93 allegations in 94, okay, in 1994. And I got more and more and more and more and more and more stuff. I even have enough information to do an alive one, two, three, four, five, an alive five. I got enough, okay, information to do a live five. I postponed doing a live five for now, guys. I'm not sure when I'll pick it back up. But I postponed it and I, oh my goodness, and I still got to do the True Talks shows. All right, but I have something to show you guys, okay? So anybody, if you learn, just what you got to lose. Learn about the death hoax, okay? Because if I'm wrong, he's just as dead as he's always been dead, right? So nothing changes. But looking into the death hoax, you at least have the opportunity to improve the situation, to make it better, to bring him back to life, okay? All right, and and there's and, and 11 years, I haven't found anything that confirms to me that Michael Joe Jackson is dead. Absolutely nothing confirms that Michael Joe Jackson is dead. No proof, no evidence, no facts, okay? So, therefore, and I got plenty of proof to say who Michael is today and what Michael's been doing, okay? Watch a live three and a live four. All right, guys, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so now that we're talking about the allegations, Martin Brashear has been in the news again, right? And um, uh, Martin Brashear has uh, been in the news again. Let me make this bigger. Um, because apparently he lied to get the Princess Diana interview and he falsified some documents or something. And because he interviewed Princess Diana, and Michael loved Princess Diana, Michael went ahead and got Martin Brashear to interview him and to live with him for eight months at that Neverland. And it's called living with my, uh, living with Michael Jackson and all this other stuff. And this is just to let you guys know how up on it we were back in the 2005 trial. I'm getting ready to show you a part of Michael Jackson, the trial and triumph of the King of Pop that originally aired in my true talk shows. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. This is a part of Michael Jackson, the trial and triumph of the King of Pop that was distributed to 50 million homes right after the death announcement because Papa Joe and Michael, they wanted me to, they wanted that documentary to get out to the world to say that Michael isn't a, a pedophile. And this is the most widely released documentary on Michael's innocence that's ever been released. Okay. That focuses on his innocence. And it was also um, distributed in China, um, in which we didn't get paid. <laughs> it was distributed by Warner Brothers. Um, and, you know, just funny things. And I never got paid right from Warner Brothers. I know there were hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars that somebody else got that I didn't get. Okay. So it, I have always been struggling. Okay. Um, doing my Michael projects and financing it. And when we did the documentary, do you know I never called Michael and said, or his, even though I was talking to Ramon, I never said, give me some money to do this documentary. Never asked for a penny, you know, from the Jackson family or anything. You know, we just did it because it was the right thing to do. Simple as that. Okay, simple as that. All right, here we go. This is a part of Michael Jackson, The Trial and Triumph of the King of Pop. Okay. 
Even though the public have forgotten the 1993 allegations of child molestation, a new wave of charges was Michael soon Joe to Jackson. become Michael Jackson's biggest nightmare. In an effort to rejuvenate his career, Michael Jackson allowed British journalist Martin Bashir to live with him for eight months to create the documentary Living with Michael Jackson. Contractually, Michael Jackson was the only person to approve the final edit of the documentary before airing. Despite that agreement, Martin Bashir aired it without Michael Jackson's approval, and that brought to Michael Jackson 28 months of pure hell. Well, Martin Bashir, he's been, before the Mark Jackson interview, he was a very renowned interviewer in the UK. He interviewed people like Princess Diana. He had a lot of credibility. Uh, he won quite a few awards. But he came over here on the pretense that he would provide a really good insight into the world of Michael Jackson. Not Michael Jackson the entertainer, but Michael Jackson at home with his kids at Neverland going to the zoo. But if, instead, what we got, we got the seriously jaded version of Martin Bashir saying things like, when I see you with your children, you made me want to weep. It was all edited out. We just saw the strange scenes of Michael without any kind of background. There was no foundation. It was just cut in such a way that it made Michael look odd rather than the act. Okay. So just to let you guys know that Elbow Grease Productions is in up on this stuff before it even happens, right? Uh, before it hits the news. You know, like a lot of people don't realize that my investigation um, uh, uh, into Michael Jackson is 15 years old, okay? And a lot of the stuff that fans are just now learning about is in my documentaries that we have done. We have done uh, Michael Jackson, The Trial and Triumph of the King of Pop. We have done a live one, Michael Jackson, uh, live one, uh, a live is Michael Jackson really did. That was on Netflix. We did a live two, Michael Jackson, the great escape. If you just want to know how Michael faked his death, that's the best one. A live two, a live three, um, Michael Jackson, the living dead, which is about who is Michael today? Cause if he's faked his death, then who is he? Who's he hiding behind? Right. And then a live four, Michael Jackson, the missing pieces that also a lot of fans say is their favorite too. Um, because it talks about not only the death hoax clues, but also um, who are Michael's fronts, who are Michael's decoys, right? Who are Michael's fronts, who are Michael's decoys, so that he can still sing and he could still do the things that he can do. And then if, if he's ever caught, no, it's that guy instead of Michael Jackson, of course, duh. He did that when, you know, misdirect. Remember I did the video about Michael and misdirecting? All right. So... Anyway, um, and then, of course, we, I did The Prisoner of Fame, okay, short film, which lets you know what happened behind the, the scenes on the wee morning hours of June 25th, okay, the same, the death day, what happened behind the scenes between Michael, who I called Jack London, and Dr. Conrad Murray, who I do called Dr. Earl Carter, right? So, you guys, go ahead and watch all those films. Let's see if I have more stuff. Um, nope, that's it for today, but I do have some other stuff that I am researching, um, that I'm trying to figure out right now, and, um, so, anyway, um, that's it, guys, there's not a lot of Michael news going on, because I can't wait for Trump to get out of office. He's sucking all the air time. You know, it's Trump, Trump, Trump all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. Okay, he, you're done, Trump. You know, it, it, come on, guys. 250,000 people dead. You know, 11 million infected. You know, we are South Dakota, North Dakota. You know, the whole country of, of, of South Korea has less cases than, than uh, North Dakota by itself and South Dakota by itself. Come on, those aren't highly populated states. We're doing horribly because we have a horrible leader. So even though you might like Trump or whatever, it's time to admit we need a politician to fix this. We need an experienced politician, someone who cares about people, someone that knows their way around Washington, someone who knows how to get things done, someone with 37 years of experience, and someone that is like Kamala Harris, who is 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 a go-getter. She knows how to get things done. She knows how to close deals. She knows how to 
how to prosecute. She knows how to be compassionate. Oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait for the new administration to come so we could really get down to business and fixing our country back to the point where we are not the laughing stocks, the failures of the world. Okay? And that's what we are right now under Trump, who was not a politician. He didn't know what he's doing, and he's not even a real good businessman with five bankruptcies. Okay, guys? All right. Anyway, so I can't wait. So next time you see me, I will I will have some in-depth investigation into something. All right, then. Well, keep Michaeling, and I will see you all next time. Make sure you go to my website, michaeljacksoninsider.com, for all the links to all my documentaries. All right. See you guys later. Oh, Trump who? Tina. I Hi, Tina. Uh, Peter... Petermans, I believe that the interference with Michael uh, Michael Martin Brashear was full of decoys call. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it's a decoy. I believe that was Michael. Um, let's see if I have any questions here since it's kind of a short one. Oh, thank you. Tell me I'm looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Um... No questions, no comments, just hello, just wonderful, sweet things, hi, hi everybody, I'm just looking through all the comments to make sure that I'm not missing anybody, thank you, you guys are so sweet, okay, nope, there is just comments, just nice highs and hello, so hello to everyone, and everyone wear your mask. Be safe, wash your hands, and social distance as much as you possibly can. Okay? All right, guys, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.